Minister, who is a registrar for JNTU Hyderabad, uh, to deliver this talk. I'm coming out with a new institute in this category. Dr. Chanta Madam from DHAP. Yes, I think. Yes, I think. Yes, I think. Yes, I think. With us, she will be sharing her ideas. As an academician from JMTU for the last 20 years, but uh, you know the technology, how the things are changing, why these institutes are required, why we just now that uh, one uh, paper reporter he was asking a question, why you don't train the students in the same way in your JMTU? Why you allow the students to go to private? Uh, uh, institute for training. That I am going to answer that also. As you know, a JMT is affiliating more than 120 engineering colleges, around 70 pharmacy colleges. All these uh, 200 plus colleges are connected to JMT. More than uh, I think 80,000 seats we have in JMT. And more than about uh, 9,000 seats are there in pharmacy. So every year we, we admit about 80,000 students in engineering and about 9,000 students in pharmacy. Every year I think about a couple of months back we have given the final year results. Around 55,000 certificates we have distributed. 55,000 engineering graduate certificates we have given for our younger students, those who are right now in the market for their jobs. Now coming to why they are not getting a job directly from the college to the company.